Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is the second one that is from the fabric breakdown series. Today's fabric of choice is cashmere. Cashmere is a very luxurious, soft and airy and warm fabric that is used in a lot of winter clothing. Since cashmere is a natural fabric, it will also disintegrate naturally unless it is treated with chemicals or mixed with other fibers or fabrics. Cashmere comes from goats from Asia in the mountains. I think they're called Pashima goats and Kashmir goats. Practice of shearing these goats out of season could be quite dangerous for those beautiful animals since they are already frail and they don't have a lot of wool to keep them warm in the colder months. Since cashmere is such a thin fabric, it usually takes up to four goats to make one sweater. This also makes it quite an expensive fabric as it requires a lot of effort to make a small amount of clothing items. So just a warning, anytime you see something that's made of cashmere and it's quite affordable or so to say cheap, you should know that somebody down the line was mistreated and wasn't paid properly. Now since cashmere is gaining a lot of popularity over the years, the market is getting more and more competitive and there is more demand for cashmere, which means that herders are overpopulating their goats and making them live such a horrible quality life because of overpopulation in a small farm. Due to overpopulation, also the amount of food that is found in the mountains becomes less and less available. With the small amount of food left on the market, it leads to many animals not being able to find food and therefore it leads to an ecological imbalance. Adding insult to injury, production of cashmere is very very ecologically unfriendly as it requires the use of a lot of chemicals. What's even worse is the condition that the herders and the workers are living in. They are underpaid and they work in quite dire circumstances. Also, the shearing process isn't exactly the most delicate. We don't necessarily go and stroke those animals and shear them gently. Imagine somebody doing a job that they're being underpaid for. They're living in horrible conditions. I really can't imagine them doing it gently and doing it delicately. I think they would want to finish as quickly as possible because the more time you spend, the less you make per hour. So I would imagine that these herders would probably do it very violently and aggressively, which is not fair for the animals as well. I found that the most harmless way of using and wearing cashmere is by using it second hand. It's basically without producing more cashmere, no more harm to animals, and it requires less chemicals in the production of this recycled cashmere. The use of cashmere can be less and less harmful socially and ecologically if we don't keep in mind the desire to produce it plentifully because it's simply impossible to do that without risking the lives of those goats and also risking even worse conditions for herders and also for producers themselves, people who work with the fabric and turn it from wool that is sheared off of animals into sweaters that we wear. One thing that I'd also like to mention when it comes to the environmental imbalance is that governments allow herders to actually kill any animal that seems to be of risk for their goats. So if there is like a coyote or a bear or whatever that is not supposed to be killed, these farmers are actually permitted to kill them. It is legal for farmers to kill those animals, leading to a worse environmental imbalance. Keep in mind that cashmere itself is biodegradable if it's not treated with chemicals and if it's not mixed with any synthetic fibers. So it could be quite environmentally friendly and it could also be very luxurious to wear as long as we pay for it what we're supposed to because we know that if anything costs less than it seems, it means that somebody down the line was mistreated and wasn't paid properly. This is everything for today's video. I hope that it was educational and interesting. If you have any questions, obviously you can ask me in the questions down below. I will leave links to valuable information in the description box so you can find it. 
And if you have any questions that I can answer, I will definitely answer it. And if I don't know the answers to your questions, I will definitely be doing my due diligence to find out the answers so that both you and I can become educated on the matter. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.